Hello everyone, Sylvie here. Uh, welcome, this is Sun and Moon Energy. Uh, I'm going to get right into a reading for Gemini. This reading is for Gemini and their money. Uh, but really all are welcome here. If something speaks to you, you're more than welcome to it. Uh, I've already done a pre-shuffle of the three decks that I'm using, meditated on the energy for Gemini and their money. Sorry, I'm a little stuffed up. I have the windows open. It's loud. Um, it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> I have allergies. Uh, so we have the sage, or also known as the um, Hierophant, Seven of Coins, and the Lovers. We also have the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the Daughter of Cups. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Death card, and the Four of Wands. I feel like peaking ten of wands there. Yeah, I am getting this feeling like there's some type of opportunity for a partnership, perhaps again um, in the energy, or even maybe just you uh, working with somebody. It doesn't have to be like a romantic partnership, or even necessarily. Uh, a money partnership, but just somehow uh, working together. In doing so, though, you are attaining here with this uh, Nine of Pentacles and this Nine of Cups, this like spiritual and emotional and also uh, material wealth. We do have that Four of Wands there, so I feel like with that Death card, it's almost like something that's going to come in. It's almost like it's going to take you by surprise here. Uh, so that being said, let's see what spirit has to say. Really, this is kind of like the overall energy. I didn't really pick a card for the overall energy. I tried to do a quick shuffle because it was already getting late and I wanted to get right into the reading. I was feeling called to the cards. It's for Gemini and their money. It's for Gemini and their money. Thank you, spirit, guides, angels, ancestors. I didn't say guides already, guides. And this is so interesting because the full card did come out in the pre-shuffle with the Ten of Pentacles in this deck. I was just talking about how I was like, maybe I should just be the full card for, or like the fool as depicted on the full card in this deck. Um, I was, specifically, I was thinking um, for, uh, for dressing up for Halloween. So it's just interesting. Um, so we have the Chariot, the King of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Fool card. I don't usually take this many cards, but I do feel this is tied to the... I do feel this makes sense with the energy that I was picking up on. Yeah, I do get... There is some type of partnership here. Um, there's some type of creative opportunity, some type of, uh, something where, again, it's this yin and yang energy where you just, like, work really well together. Uh, maybe you just, you balance each other really well, like, balance each other out, like, or whatever. But again, it's like, there's, like, two figures here. There's the two horses here, the two people here. We have the two of wands, the two of cups. You know, we did have, right, the two of cups there again. Yeah. So there could be, and with that eight of, um, eight of wands there, again, it's like I do feel like there is some type of message of opportunity coming in here. It's going to allow for a new beginning. Water energy, fire energy, more water energy, and air energy here. This is definitely starting, um, starting a new journey, taking a risk. I was hearing that, taking a risk. I definitely feel like there is some sort of, yeah, wow, the lovers. <laughs> All right, well, Spirit is confirming here. This is a partner, some type of partnership that um, I feel like there, maybe you're, you're thinking about it. There's some type of negotiation here that's happening. Um, the Temperance card now reminding me, saying that about negotiation. The Temperance card did come out in the pre-shuffle. So... Yeah. Yeah, I feel like definitely with this come away, the fool and the lovers, the two of cups, the fool, of yeah, this is, house is intense, Gemini. I'm looking at, it's like a pairing, right? Because we have the two figures here. 
the cover up is a little. Um, okay, so wow, and just more air energy here. You know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I think the Fool's like considered Aries energy, but it's still air energy. It's it's a it's a fresh new energy. Wow, the High Priestess, beautiful. And I was about to ask. Um, to, let's just clarify here for the Chariot card. So. It, it makes sense, right? This came out for you the other day, these two cards together. Um, this is just more water energy. This is, it's again, it's just with that, with that hair fun or the sage here as it's depicted, there's a the bit of this like very, um, spiritual connection here. It's like somehow you all, and I'm saying you all because I do feel like there's a partnership here. There's the, there's a connection. There's a deeper understanding, right? It, it's like there's a uh, it's a it's equal. There's an equal balance here. It's it's and it's refreshing. More about this King of Wands energy. More about this King of Wands energy. <laughs> so you could be or like um, you know this is a fire sign here, heavy fire energy here, Leo energy with the King of Wands specifically. It's the Ten of Cups, you know, it's like, look, the Nine of Cups is there with the Nine of Pentacles. It's like, Spirit is saying, I think there is an opportunity here, right, for some type of um, really amazing partnership. Um, it could even be, um, you know, this could just be more like a business. Um, it doesn't have to necessarily mean family here. It just means about like achieving um, your goals, right? Achieving emotional, spiritual fulfillment, um, wealth, um, having this, uh, you know, your home, happy home, happy life, right? But, you know, there is wealth here too because it's like these cups are all made out of gold and, um, you know, this is a beautiful home in the background and they obviously, there's like farmland here and um, the skies that it's like it, there's a lot of abund, um, abundance energy here, right? That's interesting. The seven of cups there with the magician. Wow. 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 And the world card in the eight of pentacles, Gemini, Gemini. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Gemini, Gemini cricket. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm sorry. I'm really kooky today. Um, so with the Magician and the Eight of Pentacles, yeah, I'm just, like, really getting this energy. Like, you've really worked hard for this to make this happen, you know, and I think it's, I think maybe you've caught the attention of somebody, and roles can be reversed here, but I do feel like this is more so somebody coming towards you, Gemini. More about this Two of Cups energy. A lot of water energy here with all this cup energy and the chariot and the high priestess. More about this Two of Cups energy. I do just feel this is a partnership. You know, sometimes I feel like, oh, it's just you being in balance with your masculine, masculine and feminine self and like the whole, you know, but like here. So we have Empress energy here, which is interesting. I mean, you know, this could, this is to me is, unless the Emperor wants to come out here, we have some type of match happening. Um, this could be just like you, especially with the Fool card there, um, branching off on a solo, uh, opportunity here. This came out for you the other day. So take this how this resonates for you, right? But the Empress is somebody who, I mean, this is a really beautiful, loving, nurturing, uh, card. With somebody who's very, um, very abundant and also like willing to, willing to share, um, this abundance, right? And, and she doesn't really, I was actually, um, thinking about this, uh, earlier about how it's like really depicted as, um, the Empress doesn't need the Emperor, but the Emperor needs the Empress. And it's like some, you know, for some people, I think it's like kind of hard to wrap their head around that. And I was really kind of like taking a deep dive into that. And it's interesting. I almost feel like this reading could be depicting that. However, it doesn't necessarily mean that there isn't a partnership here. It could be one where you feel like you have been, ele like you're in this Empress energy, right? You feel really, what did I say before about where there's this acknowledgement of being like both like, like, having things to offer. It's like equality, right? Um, and also not being intimidated if maybe somebody may seem like they have more to offer, right? Although 
it's all relative, I guess, right? I don't know what, what you, what that means for you. Um, so we have this six of, um, I think it came out like ne next to each other like this, the eight of wands, the six of swords and the ace of pentacles, which would make sense here when I said a new beginning, right? And I said, because we had the eight of wands underneath the deck in the pre-shuffle, I mean, in the Sorry, I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. I'm getting a little excited now. Um, I think it was maybe the bottom of this deck. There it is. Thank you. Okay, I'm not losing my mind. <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> um, this just, for me, is like there's, this is, if anything, this, if it's not even necessarily about communication, it's about forward movement. This is a forward movement energy. There is a trajectory here of moving towards something much bigger, much greater, much better. Um, it's the light at the end of the tunnel here. There's a star here, and then there's this ace of pentacles. It's like opening up into this beautiful valley. What did I say about, right, this property, right, this farmland? And then look. You know, look at she's cultivating the land here. They're cultivating their land here. Even the fool card here, there there's land here, right? It's almost like maybe you're taking this journey to find where you need to fit, where you need to settle down, where you want to like really put down roots. Maybe you're like still like not satisfied where you're at and you're you want to move you know, some people have said, I don't want to move. Other people said, I want to move. You know, I do feel like this is a moving energy. It could just be a moving energy as far as like, maybe you're not physically moving somewhere as far as like another land. However, the energy here is just really giving me that. So if that's, if that doesn't speak to you, then this reading isn't for you. Um, I mean, it could just be, oh, you're switching jobs or, oh, you're, you know, a new partnership. It could be that and only that. <clears throat> But I do feel like there is the sense of this this heavy movement here, this this big transformation um, that's happening here. Wow. Okay. Well, I said I wanted a match, right? And we have the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck for the King of Wands there. Wow. And the Queen of Swords. So that's your energy. Four of Cups, Star card. Maybe somebody had to make a decision. I don't know. Can you give me Gemini's energy towards this other person, I feel? Wow. That's a whole lot of cards. Uh, we have the Eight of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and the Tower card. I'm almost getting this energy of, like, I just heard Princes, and I'm not saying you should, but the I would, um, D-I-E for you. Um, what is it? It's like, I'm not your lover, I'm not your friend, I am something you can't comprehend. It's like there's something very deep and spiritual here with that Ace of Cups coming out. And this it's almost like I feel like somebody is like really devote, like somebody really would go, I'm hearing go hell and high water to make this partnership work. And, you know, that came out the other day. So, you know, again, if you're not feeling like that, somebody put that in the comments. Then again, you know, this reading isn't for you. But can you give us one card? to max thank you spirit appreciate you so much uh for gemini's energy <laughs> i think i think spirit just threw out like three cards yep three cards part of me Okay, so wow, amazing. We have the World Card, the Magician, and the Eight of Pentacles, Gemini. Yeah, it's like, what did I say before when, didn't the Magician want to show its face with the Eight of Pentacles there with the World Card? Look, you know, even with all that shuffling, those cards stayed together like that, came out together, however, whatever, however, right? So this is Spirit saying, this is like, you have manifested this new opportunity of wealth um, and recognition, you've really... I almost even feel like with the magician here, right? I mean, this is more air energy, so it's just about you making things happen. So again, if there isn't a partnership here, it could just be about you really cultivating this energy of being so... Um, 
so balanced like everything it's like all your chakras are in alignment right or something like that look like with this eight here you know it's like is it seven or eight chakras I'm just totally like I don't really know much about chakras, but I would like to learn more. Um, but I'm getting that energy of like you know somebody who's really like it's like this master mastery energy again. And I just realized, holy shit, my mind is blown. Gemini, how did you all freaking do this? You have the magician in the high priestess again, and with the empress. This came up, but the empress was in that came out in this deck. Look, with the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Fool card, the Lovers, I am, and the Ten of Cups, Gemini, I am fucking blown away. I'm going to keep dropping these F-bombs. Maybe you're somebody that likes to drop F-bombs. Uh, look, we have the Queen of Pentacles here. Um, I believe the King of Pentacles was showing its face before. Look, we have another Lovers card here. Yeah, there's the King of Pentacles here. All right. This is a this is a partnership again. If you're not looking for a partnership, maybe it's just you're going to be working for somebody or somebody's going to be working for you and it's just a platonic business partnership. Whatever the case may be, it doesn't matter. Y'all are working magic together. This is amazing. I'm just like really fucking I'm, I'm I cannot fucking believe this happened again, Gemini. You have the magician and the high priestess. I will say it again with the empress here. Double lovers. The Ace of Pentacles, this is amazing. Heavy air energy, heavy um, water energy here with this intuitive, right? This really like, um, there's like this magical energy here, this witchy energy, this intuitive, this high priestess energy, right? Magician energy. Ace of Pentacles with the Empress. The Eight of Pentacles going after your wealth, right? This is, look at how, again, it's like this, Pet, this this pentacle here is just in this hovering in these trees. It's like magic how you just make your money grow from trees. It's it's that kind of energy, Gemini. It's a new beginning. It's it's bland and milk and honey. I, I think you're you're probably maybe somebody who's buying property. Um, there's their creative energy here. There's another again with that sort of like cultivating the land energy. All right, I'm going to leave here. This is so amazing, Gemini's. I'm really like, this is, I can't even stress enough how incredible. I don't think this really happens very often in other readings that I've seen. I don't know. Um, anyway, all right, I'm um, wishing you all so much positive energy, love, and light. Bye.